For the gradation, we've taken the material and we've broken it into plus four, minus four uh, fractions. We have our plus four material right here. We earlier split out a minus four sample or minus four fraction to go over and be washed so that we can do our fine gradation. Um, we'll add this coarse nest to a specified uh, set of screens. Uh, job sites are going to have specifications that require certain maximums and minimums of certain size particles. A lot of those specifications will be laid out in either a geotechnical report or the project specifications based on the recommendations found in your geotechnical report. We're going to shake this and that's going to help us help these materials fall through their screens um, and we'll be able to determine what size fractions we have for each one of the specified screens that's in your specification. We have our machines calibrated to be able to have a certain amount of thoroughness of sieving over a certain period of time, so it's going to shake for that amount of time uh, to be able to be sure that all the particles have had an opportunity to fall into the holes that, in which they're going to belong. All right, our Marianne has stopped shaking and it's ready to be weighed up screen by screen. Oftentimes we'll have larger particles um, that don't fit into our screens and we'll hand sieve those. These rocks have shaken. They belong on this screen. This is a one and a half inch screen or the one inch screen. We'll go ahead and get the weight of those and record that. Some of these particles need help or convincing. Anyway, so this whole process, we'll just weigh this whole thing up and we'll record our weights. For this test, there's not really a whole lot of variability between laboratories. Laboratories are typically pretty good about it. Everything needs to be calibrated, your screens, your scales. A lot of what some variance may be is how a laboratory process is a sample. That's where materials can be lost or it's not split out through a riffled system. And sometimes those variables cause your results to vary a little bit. Um, so it's going to be either the placement, the location, and how the sample is obtained in the field or how it is manipulated in the laboratory. And there are specifications and requirements that, have, that line out how we're supposed to go about that. And it's important that we adhere to those. We've completed our wash on the minus four fraction of this material. We've dried it back, take it out of the oven, cooled it off, dried it back. And now we're going to go ahead and run the grating on the fine sieve. And these sieves that we determine to be in this stack are going to be require certain requirements and your project specifications. Again, we're going to return this to the Marianne. It's going to shake for a predetermined amount of time. And that's going to manipulate the particles to be able to make sure that it gets an opportunity to go through the size screen 
that it needs to get to so we can properly classify the grain size. All right, we've gotten our shake, and we're gonna weigh up each one of these size, uh, size screens individually. So we're gonna make sure that as we weigh each one of these up, we utilize a brush to make sure that we get all the sample out of the screen. We'll weigh up, we'll weigh up each screen and get us a total, and we're gonna compare that to the total of what we put in to make sure that there's not a variance from what we put in from the start to what we ended up with at the end. After we've gotten to the final screen, we'll look and also observe to see that our minus 200 wash that we performed over at the sink was successful by not having a whole lot of material passing that number 200 screen here on the dry sieve.